there's what is called a minimum mandatory sentence. Mm -hmm. So the court many a time says the minimum is is 10, I get. But then the years can be increased depending with aggravating circumstances. Mm -hmm. For example, if it's uh, a rape, I get it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you take someone, you lock them in your house, you rape them in the morning, mm -hmm. you rape them in the afternoon, you rape them in the evening, in between mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that aggravates the circumstances and instead of then being given the 10 years which is the minimum you then find yourself getting maybe 19 years imprisonment because they are now aggravating circumstances mm -hmm. you know i always talk about mm -hmm. um, what happens premarital counseling um, tom is coming to say i've seen masiho Mm -hmm. I want to see if Masiho is the right woman for me to marry. Mm -hmm. But when, uh, um, I don't know if, you, I can call them couples, when Monale um, Musadi are intending to get married, they come to say, we are getting married. Mm -hmm. They're not even how to tell us about Dr. Masako. Already they've made a conclusion that they are getting married. <laughs> uh -huh. so and we don't what call it premarital counseling. We don't call it premarital counseling. It's premarital counseling when we haven't decided. When we want to say, is this the right partner? Mm -hmm. Because we have a lot of people who are very strong. We have a lot of people who are very strong. We have a lot of people who are violent. It's a very tiny minority. I don't want to believe that. I was married a long time ago. I was married a long time ago. I was a simp and an alpha male. Mm. TikTok everywhere. They believe What's that a simp is a simp. Or socialized. Or like a man or soft. Or a man or a soft. Simp is what? Short for simple. This is Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. We enthuse, we energize, we inspire, and we empower entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of all stripes in BW and beyond. Hello, Dumel Abaretsu. Welcome to another episode of the Legal Series, which is part of Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. We're as excited as ever to bring you yet another episode, this time having to do with gender-based violence. And I brought, um, you know, experts in the field in terms of law, in the field of psychology, as well as the men in the street represented by Ramabot, as you'll soon find out. But a little bit of housekeeping, uh, we are powered by the Ruma Mohobe Legal Practitioners, and uh, we will uh, make a note in the notes as to as to where they can be located. Here in Mohobe Plaza, we'll also provide their contact numbers. And we also have a book. I have a book, Bahait. It's called uh, Mom Nuggets of Grit. It only goes, retails for 360 Pula. Very affordable. Uh, you can also get it from exclusive books. It's a memoir where I share my um, adventures in business and in law. And um, just to get the ball rolling, let me ask my guest to introduce themselves, uh, to mention what they do, and perhaps touch on what we're going to cover, starting with Mr. Uda next to me. Dumelang Bakayetsu, my name is Kuda Kwashe Chihata. I'm an attorney by profession. I'm currently practicing at Lirumam Kobe Legal Practitioners. I've been an attorney for close to three years now. Thank you very much for having us, Mr. Mkobe. You're most welcome. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my name is Dr. Gloria Maseko. I'm a therapist, a counselor at Trox Investments, and um, I'm here to discuss uh, gender based uh, violence. Okay. Yes. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Mokobe Incorporated. I'm a civic activist, a traditional conservative. We shall not forget. Yes. Mm. 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 Mm.
ke ngwa dotse go radira ka sesebe sesebe activist ke le ka re dira okay um i think a, a good starting point would be definitions how do you define gender based violence mr <coughs> well um gender based violence is a broad term but uh to simplify it gender based violence is violence that is directed at a particular person or at a particular group of people simply because of their gender gender based violence only happens between people of different sexes for example a man against a woman or a woman against a man gender based violence cannot be violence between two women or between two men what's it called when it's between the same gender uh, when it is uh, between people of the same gender as a uh, assault as defined by the penal code of Botswana okay uh Mabutu, you mentioned something called bus ranking I'd, I'd like a few examples it's a gender based violence uh, what had happened to bus ranking bus ranking in got 20 i think it was 20 around 2017 bona ga nna le meong wa na tla ikaparetse mosesa ga go ne le meong mo tla nanyana ba 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 na ba ba stana ba mo ya jore go benetse ba ba ra magabe bogolo go lena na pere mo go khusha le nyana ya no ha bus ranking micro mini micro mini skirt ya no ra re bo re ba re ben reng ke ngal be ba dumela gore ga go ka ha di nom sentsa tsa setswana gore ba beri ya lo bo ba itsela mola wa mo go gore bone le bo re kana le batho ba 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 ha ba reng ke mo sogopa so ne se o sa be se motso la ditswalo le gore ba mo tswala go bosupa gore ga a para sentle me ke so se ne gore na le ra bona gore ga se so se ne gore se se emetse gore motho ka laola gore a para ja be gore bona gore go tsontse gore tsene mo straten re 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 ne kgathano le se lose e ngwe ne le ne ne le go sibina go hale ne le go kena kwa santse re le mo di youth leaking re ne ra go anta ka gore go ne gona le monre mo gana o bua ne la go mo councilor re le mo wae minister ba ne ba mana mo ganyeng ya gore ona gona le ngwana mo wa wa ai miss jo an under age girl ke re no yo le na tse re me ra be re bona gore nya me ka gore ne le mo di youth leaking re go anta re tsa me re re o re go bua gore so sa go nna na re se ba te mo na tsena rona gore pedophilia has no place that part of the brain um meant for speech is well developed in women that's why boys <laughs> even speak later mm-hmm. than girls even in preschool mm-hmm. yeah they communicate better than the boys okay yes and, and um, um where does the law come in recuda in all of this is there a legal framework yes there is um a legal framework but i think uh the starting point has to be the constitution of botswana Why I say so it's because human rights in Botswana are accorded in terms of the constitution and if you take a look at the constitution the constitution states that each and every person in Botswana has the right to human dignity like human dignity means you're supposed to be treated with respect with dignity kaboto there has to be that respect that is accorded to you the constitution then further states that each and every person has the right not to be uh subjected to treatment that is inhumane or treatment that is degrading mm. so that's the starting point mm-hmm. i get it mm-hmm. that is the law 
uh, at the top. Mm. From there, we have got uh, other laws such as uh, the penal code, which speak against uh, assault, but not exactly in the context of GBV. But we've also got the um, Domestic Violence Act that is there, and that speaks also to 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 gender-based violence. But let me um, <clears throat> let me put it clear for the viewers, right? Mm -hmm. The Domestic Violence Act is there to define uh, domestic violence, which is a form of GBV. I get it, Yes. Yes. Mm. So the Domestic Violence Act, it defines and then goes further to state what victims are supposed to do when they have uh, faced GBV or when they have experienced domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So the laws, in a nutshell, we've got the Constitution, we've got the Penal Code, we've got the domestic violence act and to some extent we've got the children's act in the sense that uh neglecting a child that is a crime mm -hmm. yes and that uh constitutes domestic violence mm -hmm. wow uh, does that affect you um, as a parent um of that child regardless of whether or not you are staying with that child or how does it work well um as a child right or um, let me put it this way a child has the right to be taken care of by the parent mm -hmm. so no matter where the parent is the parent has to take care of the child mm -hmm. so if a parent is to say that is no justification mm -hmm. you must be able to take care of your child if you cannot if you fail to do so then in terms of the law you will be held guilty of neglecting a child so distance is not an excuse. It's not a justification mm. for neglecting a child or failing to send school fees or failing to say what I want to do. It's not an excuse. Does the act suggest, and I'll, I'll deal with the doctor in a moment, mm -hmm. that does the act go so far as to suggest that neglect mm -hmm. is a form of violence? Yes, yes. Ne ne um, neglecting a child is a form of violence mm. because when we put it under the, the types of um, domestic violence, it falls mm. under socio-economic violence. Mm -hmm. uh, socially, you are not there for the child. You don't even know the progress of the child in the schoolwork because right now we have an issue in that um, because most uh, in Botswana, 90%, the men are the ones supporting. They support financially. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, I'm sending money to that child. The child does not survive only by money. Yes. They need emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. They need to be helped with the homeworks. They need to be taken for leisure and entertainment. They need a father figure, mm -hmm. not money. Mm -hmm. Money contributes 2% to the welfare of the child. Okay. Presence. You can be present even though you are not with the mother. We are not saying be present for the mother. We are saying be present for the child. The child. Okay. Yes. We've already established that men's, men can be victims of GBV. Yes. Uh, now, if a man is uh, attacked verbally by a woman in terms of GBV, isn't there a situation where there might be an element of fear or trepidation on the part of the man reporting the matter to the ca uh, the police mm. and if so what advice would you um, would you give men who are victims of uh, verbal or emotional violence from a woman yes um i, I would really want to applaud the the the, the Botswana police they've really um, been prompt in reacting to the situation of gender-based violence um when cases like this come they no longer attend to them publicly in the in the consultation area where there is um everybody one they start by giving you the station commander in that they are showing you that we are looking at the seriousness as long as it's a couple coming they will take you in a private office where a man will be able to express themselves because they need someone who's, who's experienced in this job who will deal with it professionally Social worker. Uh, the station commander of the station. And someone yes. who is experienced as in a social worker or no someone who's been experienced in um relating well with the community, mm -hmm. with the loan service of relating well with the community because they provide community savings. Mm -hmm. Then after listening to that in a private area, men become free to express themselves. And they explain to the woman the the how is going to lead now 
to the men being physical which contributes more to gender-based violence this one now becomes noticeable because it has got marks the most painful form of uh, violence is emotional violence because you don't have the scars but the scars are deeper than the physical explain yes. that to, to when <laughs> you say the scars are deeper <laughs> the scars Kuri, you, you, when we get to court it's your weight against my weight mm. but with physical there's evidence because you can be taken to the hospital so that they can measure the damage mm -hmm. if someone has stabbed you with a knife they, it, it's evident the hospital okay. will give a report but when you say she said this you can say i didn't say that it was just the two of you but the words that she said they can cut it deeper and lead to other forms of um violence that can yeah. even result in death Okay. Yes. Rema but as a proud monarch, it's a man. Would you when your girlfriend or your wife I know you don't have a wife yet, <laughs> would you go to the police when she chastises you verbally and really um slaughters you with a few words? Would you go to the police? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I go police and come for a matter. I will go and I will be a girlfriend. I'll just let go. That was not so long. But are there circumstances where it can go all the way to the woman being incarcerated or having a, an order of some kind, like an interdict taken against that woman? Yeah. Um, yes, I, w I wanted even to comment to that. We are really trying to educate the nation that they shouldn't raise a boy child to be this tough entity because bottling emotions and trying to be a man they now take the acts of violence like killing somebody they feel now that is showing that they are a man but they need to go to social workers express how they feel cry the way we're raising men to be tough they can't even cry on their mother's funeral mm. they can't cry when their wives have passed away they can't cry when their kids have passed away. Like Kimon he was not crying, running around, but you are hurting inside. Mm. You are breaking up. You are being destroyed. And you are going to destroy the nation because anyone you bump on now the frustration comes on them. Mm. Yes. Are you able to give cases without mentioning names yes. that you've dealt with um, in this space mm -hmm. and how they were resolved? without yes. necessarily mentioning names yes mm. um like i said um issues of uh, gender-based violence even when they come to our office women try to outspeak men they don't give the men to express themselves mm. so as a psychologist counselor you need to be smart enough and tell them when the other one is speaking you don't speak when the other one is speaking you give them a notepad everything that you think is not true that they say you note it down Mm. So one of the things that um, is usually goes unrecognized or so without even realizing it's a mistake is to give a platform to the woman to speak as much as he can. As much as and you, and when it's a time to for the man to express himself, the the woman will interject. Mm. Because she will speak using her time and the time mm. for the men who's come and they feel they are treated unfairly. They are never listened to. Mm. But that's when now they they make improper decisions because mm. they feel no one listens to us. Mm. We need to give men the voice when we come to gender-based violence, especially in counseling sessions, if mm. we want us to go forward in healing the nation. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, let's talk more now on the legal side, Mr. Uh, Mr. Kuda. My question is, um, is GBV the same as intimate partner violence? and domestic violence. All right, um, like I had said earlier on, right? GBV as violence that is uh, perpetrated to a person because of their, because of their gender, right? Mm -hmm. So this is mainly uh, a man and a woman. It might be between you and your sister, that is GBV, mm -hmm. because you are people of, the, of different mm -hmm. sexes, again. But with intimate uh, partner 
violence now. This is uh, between people who are intimate, people who are intimately involved or people who are romantically involved. So it cannot be me and uh, maybe a colleague, uh, maybe Jose Roy and then... Jose Roy is my PA. Yes, your <laughs> PA. I, can, I cannot... Supposing we fight, right? Mm. Uh, it would be GBV. But mm. it won't be intimate partner violence because we are not intimately, you know... Uh, involved. Yes, as of yet. <laughs> yes, but if it's between two people who are intimately involved... Should I be concerned? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> yes, but as I was saying, uh, intimate partner violence, this is between people who are in an intimate relationship, people who are in a marriage, a couple, you know, dating, that is it. And mm. then the other one, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence, for it to qualify as domestic violence, there has to be a domestic uh, relationship. That's why it's called domestic violence. A domestic uh, relationship, meaning that uh, there should be marriage, there should be maybe cohabitation, there should be a relationship, people should be dating, or there should be a bond that is as a result of uh, people being related, domestic mm. violence. So it can be you, Mr. Mkobe, and your niece, or you and your nephew, that's mm. domestic violence, because you are related. Mm -hmm. Domestic violence takes place in a, in a domestic setting. So, mm. domestic violence. No, it's mm. not. There's mm. no domestic relationship that exists between myself and him. Yeah. I've observed over the years, just as a, uh, as a practicing lawyer, that in the zeros, um, you know, from around 2000 on to around 2008, there was a huge phenomenon known as... Um, you know, passion killings mm -hmm. between uh, couples uh, killing each other, and then if it's soldiers, they go shoot each other. Up. Mm. <laughs> but I've made happens. it mm. happens rarely, but mm. it used to happen a lot mm. more. Mm. Um, but since the coming into effect of the Domestic Violence Act, I think it was around 2008, yes. there has been a change. Would you take it some time to just let the public know what? regime has act, uh, created and what specific things mm -hmm. can one derive from that act in terms of help and assistance if they have encountered GBV? All right. Um, the Domestic Violence Act is there mainly to help with uh, victims or to help people who have uh, experienced uh, violence within a domestic setting. But let me give uh, a little background, right? The Domestic Violence Act was enacted so that it could help victims or survivors of, uh, of domestic violence. So supposing uh, I have experienced domestic violence or maybe she has experienced domestic violence, the act is there to help her. The act is there to lay out steps and procedures that she can take in order to protect herself from experiencing such again. Supposing it is myself and I've experienced um, domestic violence from my girlfriend, I can then, in terms of the Domestic uh, Violence Act, apply to court to say, this lady is my girlfriend. She has poured hot water on my leg as we were fighting. Can the court please give out an order interdicting her, stopping her from ever getting into a fight with me? Or can the court give her an order for, a, for the next two years she shouldn't come to my place? Or for the next one year she shouldn't... Um, so an interdict, in other yes, words. Yeah. A, that's an interdict. Mm. But then the problem with the Domestic Violence Act is that it comes Hansi, after the fact. In the sense that for you to seek a remedy, right, many a times you'd have already experienced domestic violence. Domestic violence can be in the form of intimidation, sexual harassment, someone stalking you. So mm. you can only seek um, remedy after someone has already intimidated you. <coughs> so you go to court and then tell the court... Well, Kana, Let me interject there. Going to court mm -hmm. as a lay person or with the help of a lawyer? <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> well, it's best to go there with, uh, with the help of a lawyer. But it's not everyone who affords uh, the services of a lawyer. So at times, uh, uh, clerks in court end up just helping people. Or no, deformed kids say, I'll go feel a yana, yana, then your matter will be, will be had. You know, the right to justice is universal, not mm. just for the rich. So mm. even if you don't have money, only broke mm. <laughs> That's it. But then, as I was saying, right, um, 
you then go to court and then have to explain to the court to say myself and this person we are in a relationship or this is a family member mm. we stay together uh he has intimidated me or she has harassed me or he has beaten me up or he has abused me psychologically therefore i'm seeking an order mm. so as i had said earlier on the act is the not as a cure but as um as an after mm. you know it comes after the fact after yeah but but it actually violence. but it creates an environment where mm-hmm. you can prevent the worst y- you can prevent worse, worse further from, yeah yes but we have to go um higher than you know preventing worse mm. i think this act should have been enacted in such a way that it criminalizes each and every form of domestic violence mm. the act doesn't do so it D- doesn't the penal code already cover that well the penal code it uh covers part mm. part so for example if someone intimidates you in public right you know at times when you go to the police or maybe when someone says uh yeah stupid how when you go to the police the police might look at it as something that is that is very trivial but mm. if you go to the police and say oh then definitely in terms of the penal code they will charge you but then to say ah no he said i'm dumb or she said i'm a useless man y- you can't really mm. you, you know the wife cannot be charged or mm. your girlfriend cannot be charged mm. yes but that does not mean to say the act is not helpful mm. the act is helpful and um it is progressive but yeah. more can be done okay so doc how many years have you been active in this space because i, I want to do a follow-up question based on your answer how, how long have you been my years of, of practice practice especially in the dealing with matters of gbv yes i started practicing in 2013 mm-hmm. so this is my 11th year mm-hmm. yes and in all this time what seems to be the most prevalent form of gbv and why yes the most uh, prevalent form of gbv that we have it's um the the, the sexual harassment is rising and uh, uh and also rape and also rape it's it's shocking because it's 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 coming um in the form where now it's kids that are involved the most shocking of recent beginning two years back biological fathers Mm -hmm. actually have um are involved in this rape Mm. yes they rape the this defilement incest is between our, not even stepfathers but biological fathers mm. the cases are rising and uh, the highest also that we have is physical uh, physical violence mm. yes against women and uh, children but also men are there and we can't rely we can't conclude that men are not abused physically because um, men there are so many unreported cases uh, by men because of a socialization mm-hmm. socialization because as a man i've been beaten by a wife i've been beaten by my girlfriend they would rather stay home and we don't have um really concrete statistics mm-hmm. uh, to show for men who have reported that this much because men still stay away from reporting Mm. Uh, like you, you had even <laughs> the guess that I'm with that thing. Not go to the police. <laughs> not even Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not far from us. Yes, yeah. yeah, so, so we really, yes, we can conclude and say women are more violated, but it, we don't have really empirical evidence that is there because we've got a lot of unreported cases. Mm. Yes. Remember, the, um, around December, there's this thing called 16 Days of Activism Against the uh, violence uh, violence against women it's a long thing it's about 16 days are you familiar yes. with that that set of activities and has it had any impact enya mm. mm. yeah, it's all regard is on 15 16 16 days against violence yeah, 16 um, days of <laughs> activism <laughs> yeah one activism ya sepe wa go no wa bo jalwa go 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 tlo ka diplakat ba to ba ne ma dia brand dia branding go brand le dilo Bomba 
I'm a creative also. Sometimes they want to go and do a poem there, something like that. I'm going to go and do a poem there, something like that. I'm going to go and do a poem there, something like that. I'm going to go and do a poem there, something like that. I'm going to go and do a poem there, something like that. I'm going to go and do a poem there, something like that. Are you that skeptical, doctor? Are you as skeptical as the remembered? Yes, yeah, I think so. Because I'm, I would say. One thing that I've realized about Botswana, there's no dissemination of information. Mm -hmm. You do research your degree, you do your research masters, you do your research a doctorate, findings that would really benefit the countries. It's just a stack of researchers in the library, mm -hmm. in the universities. But when you go to America, my last degree, I was doing a doctorate in America. Mm -hmm. You your, disseminate your last what? My, my last degree, doctorate. Mm -hmm. When I did it in America, I saw a huge difference. Mm -hmm. All the findings that I had found, I had to find a way. More violence. There, there. gun violence is yes. <laughs> yes, I don't I think it's helping them much. No, I mean with other things that I found mm. them improving. Mm. I realized for the dissemination of information. I had to disseminate my findings to mm -hmm. to 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 share with them how I'm going to disseminate my information to elderly people. Mm -hmm. I had to say I'll be using the quotas. Mm -hmm. I had to to tell them how I would disseminate to young people. I had to make a function. Mm -hmm. Because all that they come, they become attracted, and then you spread the message. Yeah, and you will realize that the way you disseminate information, so researchers cannot be stuck in the universities, mm -hmm. which could be helping us to go forward. In one of my researches, when I was doing gender, my my master's degree, mm -hmm. I said we should have gender education from preschool, mm -hmm. so that we don't a child knows what is gender-based violence using their own ways from preschool. He starts there, a small boy pulling a chair, fighting for a chair with the girl. Mm. He starts there to say, I'm stronger. Mm. I can just uh, push the girl, she falls away, and everybody claps hands, I'm stronger. Mm. So we need to start gender education from preschool. Use the language that they understand. So, so if these 16 days efforts mm. are not effective, what is effective? What is being done? I think we shouldn't have a, a specific day of the year where we celebrate. It shouldn't just be 16 it days. It shouldn't be just 16 days. It should be from January to December. Mm -hmm. And education is the key. Mm -hmm. When you educate a child or an adult, they will never depart from the teachings that you have taught them. Not under celebration, but it becomes a daily thing. Isn't when we go to work... days thing mm -hmm. intended to highlight or to raise consciousness and conscientize the public. Yes. Is it not intended for that purpose? Yes. So there's yes. a concentrated amount of uh, discussion about it. Yes, that's very true. But mm. the, the environment in which it's being celebrated, like he said, people are drunk. Mm. How do you get the message? <laughs> what are you saying to the children to get this message? How do you involve the children? You can call the children and teach them about gender-based violence where we have alcohol being involved. Mm. We are actually not teaching them right. I'm going to add something right. Eh, you know what? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I don't know if something is, is included in a DNA of a woman to abuse a young boy at a tender age. Both of them are going to go to the house. Oh, I never got any DNA. I got a boy or a boy. I got born. Yeah. But you know, I have strength. Oh, I never got a boy. I 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 got a boy. What mitigation You thank you very much. Uh, really, I, I, I really love this question. I, I would say um, the way we socialize our children, we have to look at it and realize sorry. Kuruma Botswana hare regenda equality. We don't even understand what equality means. <laughs> equality yeah. means you are at par. Mm -hmm. You know, myself, when I studied 93, 95, the boys were above us in the science field. 
we were 10 girls who were doing pure science at Nadedi Secondary School and 30 boys, 30 boys. That means 60 girls, uh, 60 boys doing pure sciences and 10 girls, a ratio of 60 to 10. Mm. So women were up there standing up like, you know what, the girl child is left behind. That's why my first degree is Bachelor of Science. It was not my choice. Mm -hmm. You know, I had as a girl child being encouraged to get into the sciences. You know, wearing a, a, a lab coat, they having been sponsored and you are not be retaining the money. As a girl child, they were fighting for the girl child, the number should increase. Mm. Right now, I was a teacher before. Mm. The, the, the boys, I would have three boys, pure science, and 27 girls. No one says anything now. So the imbalance has The imbalance has shifted the side. Mm. In Botswana, when you talk about gender equality, we mean when women are above, no one speaks for the boy child. Mm. We need now to say, what are we saying about this boy child? This girl child is empowered. The, what the boy does, he beats the empowerment out of the girl child. <laughs> yeah. What are we saying about it? Mm. We need now to attend. We can be mending. We need to start and say, at par, what do we mean? What does this equal sign start? So how what does it say? Yes, it's to say um, every time we see that the other one is rising against the other one, it should be a concern. Mm -hmm. And we should see to it that we attend to it. And when we look at it, the boy child that way, it, they don't even have role models. 70% of families in Botswana are headed by women. Mm -hmm. And yeah. women feel, I can teach a boy child what to do. The boy child says, I need a man to teach me. We are not saying everybody will get married, but this child has got uncles. Mm -hmm. This child, mm -hmm. why can't you make them role models? We've become to become independent families, nuclear family. Mm -hmm. And even when I suspend you, the uncle doesn't know. Mm -hmm. But long ago, you knew, say, I can keep this uncle, the child will start shaking. So we should go back to We should go back to, yes, old system. And no, a role model, we are not saying everyone will be married. Yes. But these kids have the got role models in the family. We can no longer mm. use the road. We can no longer discipline our children, isn't it? Mm. The, there's a sense in I which it's, been, it's yes. been criminalized, has mm. it not? Yeah, how do we go back? I think 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 I Say no I want to do the answer, and the of the cover of his mouth from Amusman and the cutting. One of the young people who are how or now on Amusman. Kiwana Kao Tomotili. Never a son of an Akatua or Ralura to to the West. We are going to find ourselves. Finding ourselves what to have to hackai. Money were lemme low very dear and we had a lone area par like our high over moto mukar who we are hundred thousand ways who hit the omu. This is the era who it's in a mutilian or it level like our back and silo say. I think that's a rhetorical mm. question. I don't know whether you have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know. I, I, I would say kana haribu aka haketa takedira agenda. We are trying to say let's let's live, re 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 coexist. Mm. Uh, knowing what I can speak, but I don't need to use that to, to abuse the other person. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I need to use that to the advantage that would benefit us as a family. Yeah. Even speaking for him. Mm -hmm. to get to certain things that he could not be able to express himself as an Akobo Sida to do certain things, but not actually to abuse the other person. Mm -hmm. So I would say let's use the strengths that we have, even the speaking, uh, to get our families, uh, the nation, to a greater level. Okay. Yes. That having been said, uh, Mr. Kuda, what law are uh, perpetrators, perpetrators of GBV mm -hmm. prosecuted under? All right. Uh, like I had said earlier on, right, the Domestic Violence Act is a, is a progressive act, mm -hmm. but it does not criminalize domestic violence. It's there to help survivors so that they can stop the act of violence that has been uh, perpetrated against them. But prosecutors, uh, or rather perpetrators, cannot be prosecuted under the Domestic Violence Act for perpetrating acts of uh, domestic violence. As such, Perpetrators are prosecuted in terms of the penal code 
of Botswana. So, mm. for example, if it is that uh, a husband has assaulted the wife, yes, that is domestic violence. Mm. Yes, that is gender-based violence. But in terms of the law uh, relating to domestic violence, it's not a crime. It is made a crime in terms of the penal code of Botswana, and that would be assault. Mm. There is the use of, of force. Mm-hmm. But hello, you know, things were being thrown around Merohano here and there, then maybe that can can be um can be classified or you know, called a public nuisance, but mm. also depending with the with the place and time the that context. Yes, yeah. and the context. Mm. And the context, yes. But Hansi Hella domestic violence, um like if it's emotional abuse or Rohamoto at times you can't go to the police and say, mm. you know, this person has intimidated me or he said I'm a useless wife. Mm. You know, the husband can't be prosecuted. Let me give you another scenario mm. where perhaps a parent abuses their power mm-hmm. and assaults a, or, or beats a child mm-hmm. in a domestic setting. Yes. That cannot call, be called GBV or That's it's not, it's not uh, domestic violence? Well, that is domestic violence. Mm-hmm. But... Um, it depends with the extent mm. it depends with the extent why i say so um when you go back to constitutional law right mm-hmm. um human rights are not absolute mm-hmm. that's the starting point mm. so hora hora in as much as you have the right not to be subjected to to inhuman or degrading treatment and punishment the parent as a defense to beating the child can say no i was disciplining the boy Mm-hmm. so that he can be a better person and yes that is a reasonable justifiable defense in uh in a democratic society that is based on openness equality fairness won't the child take you to child line well the child mm-hmm. can but then like i said it depends with the extent mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's just maybe a clap or it's proper discipline where in the parent is measured manaka mm-hmm. or I'm beating you because yeah. the parent can discipline. Yeah, no, they're taking a cooking stick onto the child. They take uh, a stick. They hit the leg. The leg is broken. That is now out of control. That is now assault. Mm-hmm. And the child now has each and every right to report to child line or even the police. The police, mm-hmm. that is the starting point. Mm-hmm. That is it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Abaa <laughs> What they do, they drag them, mm-hmm. drag them somewhere, and then Mona cannot report because Banna but have embarrassment. Mm-hmm. It's really on the rise, mm-hmm. especially when it is so. So what is how do they do it so you can warn the public? Then? Yes, men should know they need to report. And yeah, but how do you prevent? In what environment do they do? Could they drag them in a place where they would not be seen, either the toilets or their car? Mm-hmm. So I advise men who report this case, long to prevent them from getting HIV contraction. Mm. What yeah. impact does it have on the men psychologically if they don't 
yes, it happens to them. Yes, psychologically, they can't even open up to tell their families. If they are married in a relationship, he cannot even express uh, to the partner, I've been raped by a man. To them, it's just an embarrassment. And secondly, my worry get the health assistance that they would need uh, to have. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this also put their family at a high risk. Yeah. through that process. Wow, hell, I see But to answer mm. his question, that is GBV. Yes. And the 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 law. How does the law help such a man if they report to the police? Maybe Mr. Kuda could assist. Mm -hmm. Well, taking a look at the mm. Domestic uh, Violence Act, right? It says domestic violence is violence that happens in a domestic unit. Mm. And a domestic unit, uh, this is whereby people are married, people are cohabiting, people are in a relationship. Mm. Mm. So supposing these two are, say, they're in a lesbian or rather in a homosexual relationship, that's a relationship. Mm. And in terms of the laws of Botswana, such a relationship is, uh, is acknowledged by the law. If they are staying together. Yes, if you are cohabiting. Well, marriage, unfortunately, the law doesn't permit mm. that as of yet. But if mm. they can prove that... Uh, we are cohabiting or we are in a homosexual relationship, then definitely one of the partners can be. But able here in this case, the example she gave, uh, it's against the person's will mm -hmm. and it's in, uh, in a, under fraudulent circumstances. Uh, well, uh, that is uh, indecent assault. Indecent mm -hmm. assault. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, rape Ghana in terms of, uh, in terms of the law, it's uh, when a man does it on a woman. On a woman mm, mm. between a man and a man or a woman and a woman it's not rape rather it's a uh, indecent assault mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that uh, indecent assault is of a lesser scale than rape no mm. the prison term so what laws um do you do you assist there is there simply the penal code yes with uh, indecent assault with uh, rape it's simply the the penal code that's the one that criminalizes mm -hmm. can't see most crimes are within the the penal code that's where you find most crimes yeah yeah but of course uh time and again you find new crimes coming up you know we now have cyber crime cyber stalking is now a crime mm -hmm. so if uh there is maybe bullying that takes place or harassment that takes place through a computer or through you know the phone malatzing through that, whatsapp yeah, through, <laughs> WhatsApp, through tiktok such mm. a person can report and the perpetrator can be prosecuted and under the cyber yeah the cyber crimes and computer related crimes act mm -hmm. of 2008 okay so we're getting years it's, 20, it's not 2018 no 2018 yeah yeah 2018 yeah. 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 our indecent assault it's our only minimum minimum worry minimum worry um, minimum achievement. Yes, in terms of uh, what I, if you raise someone, someone, it was 10 years. It's, it's t okay. What the court does, there is what is called a minimum mandatory sentence. Mm -hmm. So the court many a time says the minimum is, is 10, I get. But then the years can be increased depending with aggravating circumstances. Mm -hmm. For example, if it's uh, a rape, I get it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you take someone. You lock them in your house, you rape them in the morning, mm -hmm. you rape them in the afternoon, you rape them in the evening, in between you mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that aggravates the circumstances. And instead of then being given the ten years, which is the minimum, you then find yourself getting maybe nineteen years imprisonment because they are now aggravating circumstances. Or maybe hello or rape I get it. The court will say you raped someone who cannot defend himself or herself as such we're giving you maybe 25 years in prison and there have been cases like that many many no gele ke gore ke ne ke batla go boletsa bo gore eng gore ene tsi khanye ene ke tswa ke buya ka yona gore you're indecent no indecent what indecent assault indecent assault you ne ya mo ya ya mo tswa go tswa re wa be di homosexual ka bo mo is mo is homosexual mo is heterosexual but then they drag them a viral does Ten years old on to my my ten years. Just like dragging that. a person that yeah. aggravates the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Hey, did been or maybe it makes it worse. Yes, mm -hmm. it makes it worse. Dragging someone automatically makes things worse. Hey, did been or maybe uh, there was just use of force. Not that I'm saying use of force is justified. Mm -hmm. No, but the use of force, you know, it doesn't aggravate as much as dragging someone mm -hmm. because. 
dragging someone it means you want to the extent of having their mental ability and capacity diminished mm. Mm. that's you, you you had them mentally incapacitated mm. in terms of the law so that aggravates everything okay mm. i've seen a case in america of a woman called i don't know whether they say eugene carroll mm -hmm. where he sued the former president of the united states for mm -hmm. m for lots donald of trump. Million, donald trump <laughs> <laughs> where she won a case and mm -hmm. then got damages mm -hmm. for uh, alleged sexual assault which occurred in a mm -hmm. in a busy department store yes. the mm -hmm. allegation was that trump grabbed her and pushed her in the corner and mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. terrible to her mm -hmm. in botswana what are the chances of getting uh, compensated through damages for sexual assault okay um which is a great form of gbv yes mm. let me start by highlighting as the doctor has already Jorge, one of the biggest problems and challenges that we face or that the legal system faces including the police is that many a times people do not want to report Mm. that's the first challenge mm. and then number two by the time that some people report the evidence mm. is already gone mm. oh, you see the evidence is already gone so if it's someone who has been raped instead of saying here are the marks here is the person's semen or here's the person's dna and it's now off you so it's now hard to prove mm. your case but going to what you have said uh, and then the third problem before i get to what you asked the third problem we have people who report cases but then after some time, they then say, ah, my police are dear, or the prosecution, yeah, dear. And then they withdraw the charges. There are such cases. So once you have withdrawn a case, or mm. if you haven't pursued a case criminal, it's then hard to prove it in court on a civil basis. Isn't the, the standard of proof is lower? Yes, in mm. civil cases, it's lower. Sh shouldn't it be easier there? Maybe somebody saw you and it's, you or reported it to close friends and they give evidence okay which is what happened in the okay. Tra donald trump case okay let me put it this way if there is a court order mm. convicting someone of assault then you can easily go before a criminal uh, a civil court and say i've got a court order convicting this person mm. this person did it this person was found guilty i want compensation it's mm. easy but in a situation whereby there was never a report Mm. And then we took my Mr. Mkhobe on chair. But why didn't you report? So on your side, um, it's easy for you to have the case thrown out because you're saying, why as a reporter? Mm. So the advice is to document everything. Have it documented. Mm. Report. Mm. Have it documented. Report it. Go to a medical facility. Have them examine you. It helps. Mm. It helps. And then coming to, to damages now. Once you have been assaulted, once you have been raped, uh, you can't just appear before a court and say, I've been raped, give like one million pula. Mm. When you're claiming damages, you're saying a certain level of harm has been done to my physical body. A certain level of harm has been done to me emotionally. A certain level of harm has been done to me psychologically. Mm. And in court, when you are seeking damages based on this there has to be evidence you have to be able to say i was raped here is the court order convicting this person or um here is the evidence from the other court from the criminal court you need to be or able from witnesses yeah, or maybe from witnesses i get mm -hmm. you need to be able to say what i've suffered mental um health related challenges or psychologically I've experienced the pain and maybe uh, you get a report yes. from the good doctor. A, mm -hmm. Yeah, a report from my psychologist. Mm -hmm. I get mm -hmm. or to say uh, ever since I was raped, I've not been able to intimately relate with my partner again, or the psychologist or other witnesses will be able or then say what I'm to ever since uh Bile. The person has not been the same. Mm -hmm. You know, they, yeah, they eh, try to quantify those damages. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this now you can all you can put all of this before the court, and the court will then say, okay, fine, we'll award you maybe five hundred thousand bullet. But then the problem is people don't want to report. I think it's because of the stigma that mm -hmm. such people mm -hmm. you know face mm -hmm. to say the society will go on saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're moving, people will just look aside mm -hmm. and act as if, you know, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yes. ostracized. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You want to add to that? Yes, I wanted to add that. Um, I think I've had cases like that where mm. the report has maybe has to be done after something has happened. Mm. So the the police will tell you that um, we don't have um, we need a tangible evidence. evidence. Yes, mm. we can have the weaknesses, but your chances of of winning this mm. that very slim. Mm. Because the tangible evidence would be the one that will make your case to go through. But I've realized that we are different from other countries. When you look at the U.S., look at what happened to the singer. <laughs> to? To the singer. Kelly. Kelly. Mm. <laughs> it's been cases that happened long no. ago, mm. but they were able to use the evidence, mm. verbal evidence from witnesses. Mm. And he was able to go to jail. Even Bill Cosby. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. even mm. Bill Cosby. Mm. Yes. So we need really to move uh, towards... Um, the developing countries or the first world countries mm. one day we will be there where we'll be able to use that evidence to get some to get to the victim that um they get justice too mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. now um the the laws that we have currently when we're prepping for the show you mentioned another piece of legislation uh, i know you're not a lawyer but you interact with these things yes. can you tell us about that law Yes, I, I was looking at the Gender-Based um, Violence Act. Mm -hmm. Most countries have it. Mm -hmm. And and um, I'm not really sure if it's been passed in Botswana, but they talked about it having been discussed in Parliament in mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. yes. So I think maybe the reason why it's not published is because it's not been passed in Parliament. Mm -hmm. yes. What does it intend to do, this law, once it comes into effect? Yes, I, I think now it has to look at uh, both genders. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at most laws, it's looking at the women and children. Mm -hmm. Women and children. Like a long back when we had the, the women's affairs. Mm -hmm. Now they had to change it to gender, gender affairs. affairs. Because men couldn't go there. Like, I can't go and ask help <laughs> from women's affairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, like my brother was saying here, now we are training men to be women. Mm -hmm. We want them to behave like women, that they even seek help from women's affairs. Mm -hmm. and so now... It's going to cover a whole range, including yeah. children. Yes, the children, women, and men. Yeah, yes. I remember that does the uh, Sutwana or the Mwaketse traditional system offer any assistance or solace for victims of GBV, and how does it work? GBV most when he did what he did, he was a motor engineer. Because after that, he was doing something like that. He was a highway engineer. He was a motor engineer. He was a motor engineer. He was a motor engineer. He was a so sometimes what about to allow one to allow a lot of way to go and so I say set a man is a body norm since I don't know no I soon say what I do how to go may house it's all over on TV what I do with Eric Hamala oh wow we sound well I don't know what the hotel more like being a lot so hard and since you like oh go 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 Bahubuah Mm. 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 those checks and balances se di rileng gore ke so bona mona ko yene ta gongwe tlhalo kana gender based violence ne sentsi ja ka go mpieng ne a ke ka ka go kaela gore rona ko hora mo dikanelele le ko hora mongalo e santse rena le diotse um but but they still come to the kotla i've been there when cases like that have have happened and don't so hard ira khala System, I think, and the mm -hmm. vast majority of cases, especially at a quarter level, the hell like they address you. I go quarter. Um, I run now, Mr. Mabuti. 
nya go ntse ja ro nya mo ko 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 ga re mo dukanela di otsa go nna di tega ke anya tsa me ga bika re bere na di neighbor wa rona ba buisana ga ntse bile ga di na go di hela go nna mo khotlenya ra mo dukana tsa ntse di ya ko khotlenya ra mo ngala di ka ka ko ile gore kana di tsama ka khatotse tharo go tswa mo ga ra mo dukanela mo khotleneng ya ga go then ha gore go padile ke gona o tla bo ya ko ga ra mo ngala go go khosi mere re tswa mo go bora re mo go beka ha from there bere tsama ya ko ko gore ga se itsi ko go di me hela gore ya go tsana ko tota be tseni ko go bolikile go buisa ngwa tota ka gore kana people are emotionally attached with each other ne ke le ke kopa fa khela mo go yone go kana rona re bitwa di professional counselor so therapist tota before hela tsana mo counseling di no tsa ntla hela ha o simola wira kwa sa counseling o rutwa gore there is traditional counseling those are people who have not been trained um having certificates but they are good at providing guidance so i appreciate the lord um traditional counseling in that it complements us mm -hmm. yeah. and how effective is it in your experience it's um core um the problem with 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 um the traditional counseling mm. <laughs> they don't find anything wrong with giving you as an example so there's no they don't practice much of confidentiality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like laha di tume so tsa go se ka mana do tsha ma se ko a i tume se le monna go ne re ba ne se ha maloba e go re ga go na that privacy mo rute ha le mo ke re ke tla ba re le ne le tla cancelling re temba rute ke o re tho mo o maloba na a biditse mosadi bile re re o tla swa ra mothusa e diputa go etse so go na confidentiality go na se piri ya no rona rena le di sephiri se nong gore if at all ke violate le ka bua sephiri sa go you have a right go ntsekisa and my lessons can be taken so the auntie doesn't lose anything e ka gore re o tsana mo modirong ba re e le sia e ke sa le ke le bone le tla mmogo le tsana mo tanke sa bana gore re thusitse gore o o rena hela o wa anegiwa mo batho and that's why to ta ile gore people come to us because even before we start selling we tell them worry this remains confident yeah. yes okay. even if you are sent by the company you are working for i'm not obliged rasana di pampiru you are not going to be asking me what mm. your employee came for mm. okay mm. Mola, to oh, a, that's very good era. that's very good era. interesting um i was just wondering because in the previous episodes we've touched on issues of uh, premarital counseling uh, how important it is before you marry somebody mm. to what extent uh does this help on the issue of gbv mm. the issue of uh, going through some form of premarital counseling yes mm. you know i always talk about mo botswana ga rena premarital counseling e go gore um what happens e go gore premarital counseling tom is coming to say i've seen masego mm -hmm. i want to see if masego is the right woman for me to marry mm -hmm. but when uh um i don't know if you, i can call them couples when um monale mosadi were intending to get, get married they come to say we are getting married mm -hmm. they're not even hound so tsela sebata ba doctor msa kana ra go tsheka mose se go ra o siana already they've made a conclusion they are getting married so we don't call it premarital we don't call it premarital counseling it's premarital counseling when we haven't decided when we want to say is this the right partner yeah mm -hmm. And when you are saying is the right partner you are saying carry do color to din neha and then we said eh eh said kana nka ka dikhona that time they don't even touch on the color because they're just excited for the day bilo ga khona bra yo bi ne magadi ansi wa next week go ra next week ha re tle cancelling because the decision is already made you are not saying um, is this the right person, person for me for we need to do an assessment we need to know the childhood trauma that your your partner went through mm. i need to heal them from childhood trauma before you could get married but how le nyalana next week magadi atswa next week already this person was going to childhood trauma and this is going to cause gender based violence yeah so there's a correlation is there or a causation between yes failure to do counseling yes. and then gbv yes mm. um failure to do counseling and gbv there is correlation positive mm. correlation mm -hmm. because at that time people are thinking and planning of the wedding mm. they are not preparing for the marriage mm -hmm. there is a difference between wedding and, and marriage, marriage. Mm -hmm. yes so at that time it happened there is that excitement they are not listening Mm. they just on the events ra go tsheka di ring ra go tsheka eng re bankanya tsa magadi and when reality now strikes after mm. two weeks 
celebration kwa bo monna kwa bo mosadi first hela violence is mo la ka socio economic ga gona madi kwa nono ba ta go bonwa nna ne bene ke re re rela ntshenyana hela it just starts from there yes you dwell among pain it's going to take 10 years or 20 years to finish that death yes and go gona bona ngo re o ha ka ka go thusa di death sa lenya lo kore go gona bona motho o modilo o nne go ga gona re go o e me go gona to sa lenya lo gore re sela ba ganne nna gore ke gona ke bona the things are ka bona re di libile ka re o sala ka bokahe i miss at the time to do a white wedding Yeah. Why lesson sema hadi you will celebrate after five years long mm. year e ho mm. mm. I alluded to this earlier when we started uh, the issues of passion killing. Ke ba tlo botsanga ka gore what really causes this pattern? And uh, I'm glad how it's been reduced but the pattern was very simple. Yes. The man goes and shoots the woman especially mm. soldiers. Mm. and then they go and shoot themselves and hang yes. themselves. Yes. They were, uh, we never really we don't get much chance to interrogate these two people yes. and understand at a deeper level. I wonder whether you can help the public understand this phenomenon of that it's all like what are the psychological factors behind this? Yes, thank you very much. Um passion can I usually say I don't like calling it passion because passion it means something that is very close to your heart mm. and we cannot have passion and being killing. next to killing mm. <laughs> yes because it has to be passionate love mm. uh, passionate kindness and mm. you know this is um, so what do you call it instead <laughs> we could call, call yeah we continue calling it a passion killings mm. but it when you you are in psychology and you are into counseling and also you you really value emotions you wonder alone hella i think alone i've been asking us what is passionate mm. about killing somebody mm. yes it, it goes back um uh, to saying uh, socialization how are we socialized Mm-hmm. as in counseling we take it back to childhood traumas how were mm. you raised mm-hmm. these days the narcissist behavior mm-hmm. it's so so <laughs> everybody is a narcissist <laughs> when i went to vtv the boss was telling me can i make a video on narcissist mm. got everybody when you pick they've got narcissist behaviors mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. harry this there's also a trend instead of supporting them no baba bola like instead of killing the partners now babola bana it was mm-hmm. a fellow fellow matter yes mm-hmm. of recent we've mm-hmm. got a, a, a man who killed um three kids we've got a doctor who killed yes. two kids mm-hmm. you see and you ask yourself what is happening here the, the narcissist behavior mm-hmm. the narcissist would want you to cause pain mm-hmm. that you'll never forget mm-hmm. and he would want people to blame you until you get to the grave mm-hmm. <laughs> Right now irile ke utlwa go the person has killed but wa bana mo irile nwa na mo sitsa. Now people want to direct gore if you've been sing se dirilwe you have to revenge by killing the kids. Mm. The kids have, have, have they did nothing. nothing. Wrong. They are the product of your relationship. Mm. So this this passion killing is is done by by societal expectations. Mm. Right now tla bore a man is a provider. Mm-hmm. we are still saying a, a man is a provider mm-hmm. the reason why we are even having so many robbery cases these men are fighting to get money to impress women mm. that we should teach women to be independent mm. so solution yes. is what the solution is that let's not put pressure on men as providers mm. when we, we we really push a lot of pressure they engage in things in ngori he gets money he provides for this girl now he feels i own this person mm-hmm. when he says this relationship should end he feels kissing mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and how senior you cannot just be left like that mm-hmm. they yeah. feel i cannot just be left like that mm-hmm. the, the spirit of men coming for counseling i would say this this is really better Mm-hmm. A lot of couples who hear my partner is the one who said we should come for counseling. Mm. Let's let's uh, um cultivate that spirit. Men come on their own. Yes, they come on their own and they bring their partners. Their partners. Mm. Which is really uh, um a, a development to give applause to. Mm-hmm. Let's teach our our boy child that you can speak your problems out. Mm. You can cry over your problems, not really making them a woman. Show your emotions. Mm. Meaning up doesn't mean you are not you don't yeah. have to show your emotions. Mm. See where you feel you are you are ill treated. Mm. Yes. And when you act by killing somebody, 
it shows what emotions have been bottling up. Yeah. We don't have to deny that men have emotions. No, and let's not put let pressure. Let me come back to you, Mr. Mm. Guda. Thank mm. you very much for that answer. Um, the courts, don't they have a role to play beyond just giving interdicts? And do they, can the courts order certain remedial actions? For instance, can the courts direct that a couple undergoes um, counseling or any, can there be court mandated processes to help solve the problem? Hey, it's, 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 it can be there it can be there but also the problem that we have is uh, uh in as much as court courts might give orders if the other person doesn't want to go counseling you can't force him the you other person direct if I, the court might direct in but america i've seen mm. situations no where. no let me further explain mm. i can mm. a person might go to counseling about they don't participate actively. Well, like uh, a horse being taken to the water. <laughs> you see, like a horse being, you know, <laughs> you can force a donkey to go to the river, but you can't force it to drink water, mm. unfortunately. So courts can try. Many a times courts, like uh, before divorce, when one is alleged or the other was uh, violent, in, in, you know, mm. at times the courts uh, might have to say, has there been pre-marriage, has there been counseling between no, the two yeah, of them? Yeah. Before, let like, go no, Pre-divorce counseling. Yes, pre-divorce. Has there been such? Mm. But then at times, um, a little runner as lawyers, and I get when someone comes for a divorce consultation, we do ask to say, have you tried to solve these issues between the two of you? Have you engaged elders? Have you engaged your pastors? Have you engaged your counselors? So that we can, yeah. yes. Mm. So by the time that we approach the court, many a times in divorce matters, we are already putting it before the court to say, uh, these two have tried pre-divorce counseling. They have tried uh, seeking help from elders, from pastors, but all efforts have been in vain. Mm. Mm. Okay. <coughs> or socialize or like a man or soft simple is what short for simple no simple is like a useless man a soft guy when they say they finished last sexual market value Babatla, these guys, but the Range Rovers, Babatona, Babatla, all those, there's materialism. Mm. And then they want this uh, black beard, but uh, the American style. Mm. Yeah, but those tough guys, mm. they just say those things. It has none on the Lebanaba Lebara Royano after gender based violence and abuse. You are Kiho and not Lava, Takoko and our Rari, Yaran, Kibata Honya, Laka, by another son of whom you go by to Akinya Laka. I'm an independent man. King independence is a psychological thing. I guess I'm a Sebasi Dira. Alpha. Mm. Alpha. Mm. Alpha. 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 You want them to be like uh, Americans, like Bobby Jones, and all that. So thin ways, but never so deviant culture. <laughs> it's, it's not the dominant. Sasa lingenko re kana ko re re kopi le ngo yama koa. 
e re le bela mo television e ke one ne gore ya tshero mo social media globalization socialization globalization social media ke one ya la o la because go na le mathata a culture ke ke go gore culture o tsona ka na re tlogetse culture e go tla go na le materialism mo mr mo go because ano social classes gore if you are ideologically conscientious about the social classes re batla gore ke o mo thale kota so batla go impress about ka go tsela bo solo jo gore ga bo a fort ha sa bo a fort ba batla gore go itumedisa bo me ba le gore ha ka tjoa ba khotsa ha tsa gore ga gore ha go ira se ngonyana ha la wasa ntsa sepe o ya la o tlo la pelo bo ya la mo mura mo di moga gore ba gona go bua mo kwa le 1000 de go go heta ya no gore gore bone se ba se dirang ha ka tsa na crime bona so se dirang ka wa sa go na physical health and crime so jo tse ding tse 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 compilation of 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 compilation of all these things tse dirang gore re le re luisa gone bo le gore re ra ya jeng jeng da base balance Mm. What can be done to fix that simp versus alpha situation? Mm. No, no, I always think in terms of solutions. No, yeah, solution is a solution is a malaise. Gana kuwa bato ana they bato ana they they celebrate kuwa bato ana we visit ourselves. Are le biya mahasi ai lango re ne kile bizi the World Happiness Report. Happiness report. Happiness report. Yeye le biya tuko na mahasi askan de nevi ya social democracy ko kubo silo bolo ngo udi mo about in terms of are le biya tuko the welfare of the people. Hakuwa na violence tu ma singa hakuwa na yao. Ba khone go gore ba ba tlabolle me wa bone to a certain level o mo en pa le monna me ga ba ka ba lusa identity ya ngwao ya Scandinavia go tlhelele ba ntse ba tsama le ngwao ya lalo a o tsama kula the Indians ka ntse ka ya go ma Asians le bone ba le ka go tla gore mo India wa o tlala ntse a paradio tsa tsa bone ba ja diwe tsa bone ba re ba re ba tswana bone se ba se iragala gore go tlabolwa ga mo tswana go re la ga to Kuri lo retse le mahu ka on kha bokhoa. Kuri we are imperialism. Ke ona etletse motho go nyarwana. Kuri motswana ha ka bona re mona motso ka no mara ro montsho hela. Ai mona ka mthakwa le montsho o murugile. Me ha ka mara ro mosho wa itumela. So eh batswana ka bantse me. Nera batswana batswana ka bantse ka teng ga ba rate ngwao ya bone ba rata go yetela. Kuri la go tlhoya bo dithuba ruba re tela go a go ja motogo le go ira di otsa ngwao ka ha mile a rona ne tsa maaka tele ka ne re tsa maiso a ka tere re togetse di otsene go re in society society level di ne di re bopa ra be re tabogela tse ile go re ha di re bopa tsa sekgowa ja no go re re khwane go re re boele hela ya ka ne re ntse re ntse re sa luse go re 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 di english media mo re go ithutelo tse di ragalang tsene mo di kwelen tsa sekgwa me re itse go re re bomang if at all we can go back there and socialize ourselves we can go somewhere ya re ka now i think we need to bond sabana the importance of a family a family ya ka ke bulela ko ntleng 70% ya ba ya di household mo botswana they are led by women ene re tsontse re tlhalohanya re ha ba ntse ya lo ba ba ruta bana ba ye o mo lelo re mo nna hana mosola you see o batle mo nona le madi e se o ya ka wena ra ga ntlogetse so we need to know it comes from the family level ga re ruta ngwana o tlo o ithute ngwana ka o nne sa mbote in society and ga re tswa ho gape re be re 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 lebella le gona gore bana ba ha o tla go ba lebella socialization na bona you know when you come re nna hela le re nna le podcast ngwe hela ya childhood trauma what it does to the child this child wa gola ha gola o gola e le gore janong o gola ma go tlese bogale a kere ha tetse bogale ya lo wa mo tshaba o hela e le gore o nna le ka go pleasea ma gwe ha le ka go pleasea ma gwe this is a boy child o tsontse re a ire dodong go itumerisa ma gore a se ka nna mmetsa na kwele nako this is a child wa go gola nge nna e pleasea ko re o nna rekela ngwanyana dilo me a sa morate o rekela ngwanyana dilo re tsontse re e back to childhood ka re go di sambana ka te okay e All right I think time is coming for yes. us to get ready to wrap up and uh, Mr. Gude perhaps you can just touch at the processes and procedures needed mm -hmm. to get a restraining order mm -hmm. so that we just live on a practical note of what do people have to do to okay. get a restraining order to help themselves um in the next episode we'll go deeper also uh, especially on the issue of mental challenges and so on mm -hmm. and so forth but for now can you just address yourselves to the process what documents are required what steps have to be taken okay. to get a restraining order against a perpetrator of gbv all right so supposing um any motswana out there any person out there has experienced uh, gender based violence or maybe intimate partner violence or domestic violence the first part of call depending with the nature and the type is to 
visit um, a police station. That's the first part of Kobat. Also, depending with the severity. No, I have to go to the police first. The first part of Ko would be a medical center mm. so that you get medical attention. And Honeko at the pol- at the hospital, definitely someone will be like, let's call the police so that a statement can be taken and so that uh, documentation can start. I get it. And um, coming to the legalities now, supposing you want to get a restraining order, the first part of call is to visit an attorney, I get a lawyer, uh, give them your story, give them the evidence if it is there. Hi, uh, you have medical reports, police reports, put it before your lawyer. I get hi, maybe it was um, cyber bullying, maybe someone was stalking you or intimidating you, or kiddy SMS, it is a hailing motare, you know, show it to the lawyer. That is evidence. I get it. Then the lawyer thereafter will then proceed to draft uh, an application wherein uh, one of the orders being sought is a restraining is a restraining order. But what Botswana have to understand and what people out there have to understand is you don't have to wait for someone to beat you before you can seek a restraining order. How about not detect Approach a lawyer. Approach mm. the court. Also help people understand what an application is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey application <laughs> an application entails a lot of things okay Nafi david okay but legalistic okay let me explain from a legalistic point of view an application is someone like a filing notice i guess that's the first thing power of attorney who super you are appointing the lawyer to act on your behalf notice of motion who super in brief or battling from the court from the notice of motion then there goes the founding affidavit so the founding affidavit is used to support the notice of motion for why okay so in the founding affidavit you're explaining your story can i get a tunnel attached here to the knife that was used or the police report or a picture of my wound oh, all of those oh, all of those mm. that's the founding affidavit and then there is a witness a witness can then do what is called a, f- a confirmatory affidavit and then at the far end or just before the far end you can put a notice of set down but that just really doesn't matter mm. but then at the end is a draft order mm. so in the draft order I get um like I was saying earlier on, Botswana and people out there should not wait until they have been stabbed for them to seek assistance. How about I text the hell? Visit a lawyer. There's visit a such a thing as an agent application. Uh, under what circumstances can you get oh, one well, on agency? I, I was taking a look at the law today. I get it. Um, all matters relating to GBV, a restraining order, or rather every application that is brought to court in terms of the Domestic Violence Act is agent. Because what you're saying is there is an imminent threat of violence, or rather, I'm already a victim. So the court will automatically give you priority. Automatically, mm-hmm. the court will give you. You don't have to file a certificate of urgency. Well, you can. Mm. If okay, um, the extent and the level of urgency uh, differs. I get. Hey, look, or someone has said. Mm. You, you know that's urgent i get mm, mm. but if it is that maybe it's a person who's in maung who's maybe sending a text to say uh then it's not very urgent but then within a week mm. the court should have granted you an order mm, on an expert mm. basis and mm. then you can then serve the other explain parties. what expert means okay expert okay ordinarily in terms of the law when you're how sick is that's um normal court procedure with but notice yeah. yes with notice again it's also a principle of justice to say notice should be given mm. but if it is that your matter is very urgent mm. or maybe there is an imminent threat of of danger or how about not alternatively if there's a risk that service will uh, hey, exacerbate things exactly. or Hello, aggravate hey, situation circumstances for mm. example if it is uh, it's a woman who's afraid of hey me kana ha ke monela di court papers o khona go go tla go ghama ba se mo la go nshapa you can do it expert uh, applying to the court only knows without service yes, without serving him mm. the court i'm here i'm seeking help 
motho ka motshaba and ke tshaba gore e bile hang ka mmolela gore ke ha hey ho ka nna mathata yeah so basically that is that is it yeah my closing question for you dr ke gore uh, why do people seem to repeatedly find themselves in abusive relationships <laughs> yeah. because I've, I've noticed that there seems to be a pattern mm-hmm. once yes. you've started you keep getting into more and more of these abusive yes. relationships yes. um thank you have been waiting for that question eh? <laughs> <laughs> and i want to say uh, first take your the biggest mistake that women do Mm. is to be in a relationship of many people who born they love more than the men loves mm. them. A man is meant to love. Mm-hmm. Uh, women have never been mandated by God to love. Mm-hmm. That's why in the Bible he said, men love your wives. Mm-hmm. Wives submit. submit. Mm. So the reason why there is so much punishment, women are doing the duty that God did not ever give them <laughs> to do. Which is love. Who gave you the right to love? A man more than they love you. Mm. Is that a principle? Yes, it's a biblical principle. Men should love their wives. Okay. Wives should be suffering. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. So the reason why women find themselves in repeatedly abusive relationship is women share too much. They've been in an abusive relationship. They need to talk. When you meet Tom in a restaurant, when you want to get to know each other, you are saying, what do you expect from a woman? What do you expect from a man? But the woman be like, yo, we shouldn't have given it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. Basically, you are telling to her, you are thinking you are getting to know him. You are telling, basically, when you say that, you are telling a man, when a man sees you, they see a queen and say, I'm going to her guy. I'm going to her. The moment you are saying, eh, hey, I'm going to her queen. This is how I'm treated. So either they are going to beat you up, because you have shown them what I can be better. Or they're going to emotionally abuse you. You come late to home and you know, you're not going to go now. It's better than to hide your history. It's not really to hide your history. When you say, it's just to say, we broke up with that person. Mm-hmm. But the moment now you say, it's, 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 it's sort of like making you vulnerable. Mm-hmm. It's making you vulnerable to this person. Yes. And at that time, they may feel sympathy for you. But as the relationship continues, you've shown them this is how I'm treated. It also applies to women. Can you imagine when I'm going to clap? When you're looking at a giant like, oh, so I'm going to clap you. And then you see, now you see, I'm going to meet it. And then I can, and then instead of talking, I can slap him because I'm going to talk to him. And then I'm going to clap. And one of them, one of them, oh, oh, I'm going to clap. Wow. So what will you be trying? But it's giving you a little bit of a chance. And when I have my idea, I can take chances. You see, so we, we make ourselves vulnerable mm-hmm. and, and gender-based violence tend to repeat in somebody's life because of this vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how do you handle it? When we handle it is to say, when somebody wants you to know your history, no, how is the history going to help you? Mm-hmm. That's the first question that you should ask yourself before sharing. Mm-hmm. Yes. So instead of thinking again, I say, I don't tolerate violence. The moment I'm gone, mm-hmm. now you are showing this person this is who I am. Mm-hmm. A man would say, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. But is keeps happening. It keeps happening because people share a lot, mm-hmm. even with their friends. People have a worry about the gender based violence because people claim what certain things cannot happen to them. It's not like somebody comes and says, I'll come to the right and slap you on the left. It just happens, even the victims are hard time is I get lucky. It happens so fast. So Mosadi Hala Tani, nine year and now Nagagan Pizza, she thinks maybe there's something wrong with them. And with that victimization, how do we about gender based based violence? Because everybody claims Bonnet, no one can lay a hand on them. Mm. And this one woman feels why? But the opposite is true. Out of ten women, nine have been physically abused. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Just uh, to, to wrap up, maybe your final thoughts. Mm. 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 Mm.
Like you know, I know, but what are people, this is it's about uh, belief systems and neural pathways of a human being. For a uh, comfort zone key. ตัวตัวเราว่าเราเราได้พิสูจน์ไปตัวเราคุยกันจริงกันเลยเราว่าเราเราคิดว่าเนี่ยว่าเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเราเรา
Well, um, as we wrap up, I just want to tell the viewers that uh, gender-based violence, gender violence is real and many a times it has led to the death of many people. It starts by intimidation, many threats, uh, a slap here and there, mm -hmm. come and before you even know it, you are being stabbed. So as soon as you see red flags, please visit a lawyer, visit the court, and we'll be able to assist you. I'm found at Liruma Mkhobe Legal Practitioners. We are in Mkhobe Plaza on the second floor. You can contact us on uh, 397-4002. Thank you, Mr. Mkhobe. Uh, it remains for me to thank you, dear viewer, to thank all my panelists. I'm sure they've been very, very helpful. Um, please um, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And I mentioned that I'm selling a book. Um, it's a, this, uh, I mean, just a shameless plug, guys. I mean, this is the only way that <laughs> I can get a little bit of something out of mm -hmm. this program. It costs us a bit of money to put this thing together. So mm -hmm. please support us by buying our book. You can reach the same book. is accessible also at Exclusive Books at Airport Junction. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for taking the time out. Much appreciated. This is Mumpulu Kiluruma Mukhobe, your host, signing off. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.